Hello, my name is Christopher with Big Bear Tech World, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install Nginx Proxy Manager on Proxmox. This makes it to where you can port forward on your router 443 and then send all the traffic to Nginx Proxy Manager, and then it'll let you have your own domain and everything. So, um, this series is about starting a smart home from scratch. So we're going to go over installing software to get into home automations and product reviews and everything like that. So if you like that, subscribe, comment, like, and let's get started. So we're going to start on the Nginx Proxy Manager website so you can expose the services easily and securely to the web. Um, <clears throat> you would just need to port forward your 443 port on your router and then you would need to uh, send it all the traffic of that port to the Nginx proxy manager local IP address so free SSL with let's encrypt and then docker multiple users beautiful UI get connected proxy host so you can also go over to the github over here and you can see features and hosting, home network, uh, Docker Compose, different things like that. But today we will be using um, Proxmox. So I'm going to install it with um, scripts right here. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to go over to GitHub just to show you what we will be installing. So. I'm going to go with the install and then I'm going to go Nginx. Okay, there's two of them. So, default settings, update script, downloading npm, setting environment, building the front end, then setting up the database, SQLite, initialize back in, uh, setting up. S6 overlay, that's nice. Um, so let's go over to install. So we're gonna install the dependencies, which is sudo, gcc, g++, so git, updating Python. So it's installing Python 3. It's installing open resty, installing node.js, yarn, it's downloading the Nginx Proxy Manager from codeload.github, Nginx Proxy Manager. Then it's getting the tar.gz. So it set up the environment. It's creating the logs and the let encrypt directory. Then it's making the Nginx directories. It's setting the permissions to 777 on the cache, then it's setting it root on the, uh, the temp Nginx. It's setting up the resolvers for, um, for DNS. Then it's setting up the certificate for dummy keys, images for the S6 overlay, building the front end, initializing the back end. So it's setting up SQLite if it's not in production. And then it's installing Yarn, creating the service. It's making sure this stays up with a service. So let, let, let's encrypt, ch challenge, starting that, and then Nginx. And then it's starting the service right here, starting the OpenRSD, NPM. And then it's cleaning up the S6 overlay and the Nginx proxy. So now let's go over to the um, let's go over to the go backwards. Okay, so type up there, and then you're gonna copy this, and then I'm gonna go to my Proxmox. Then I will go in here, uh, click on your node. In your shell and then I'm going to paste in the script that will be running and I'm going to press return to enter 
This will create a new Nginx Proxy Manager, LXC. Proceed, yes. It's gonna ask you about default settings, so yes. It's gonna set up Debian 11. Nginx Proxy Manager got a host name. It's gonna set four gigabytes of disk, one core, one gigabytes of RAM. The IP address is DHCP, so you're gonna to need to set this to a static IP on your router. Gateway host, then it's gonna set up root SSH access, no. Verbose node, no. And then DNS server. And then for some reason I get the internet not connected for some reason, but it does resolve. So just press the S on that. But if you don't have internet, then it is gonna fail. So it's installing the dependencies. This might take a bit. So once it's done, it will um, show all of the completed steps. Then you will get a IP address and a port down here. So I'm gonna just go to that. And then you can see that uh, we are on the uh, login page. So if you go over here to the um, to the scripts again and you go to Nginx you'll see down here that you have a username and password by default so it'll be admin at example.com and then change me and um, so I'm gonna go back to login again and I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna type change me in and then you will be presented with editing the user. You can change the, the email, change the full name, nickname of yourself. So I'm going to so I'm gonna go an email. So it'll ask you to change the password. Okay, now it's changed and um, so, now so once you log in and you get signed in and everything you'll be presented with proxy host redirection host zero streams 404 hosts so you can go to host up here and get to those your access list so you can uh, give an access to it then you can set SSL certificates So you can see your users that you have added to it. You can add a user here. Then you can go to your audit log here and see an audit log of what happened. And then you can go to settings and um, what, uh, what to show when Nginx is hit with an unknown host. So you can do 404, redirect it to another site or a custom page with HTML. So you can say congratulations or 404. So that is how to get Nginx Proxy Manager set up on Proxbox. So there you go. I showed you how to install Nginx Proxy Manager on Proxbox. This makes it where you can uh, expose your local services to the web on your 443 port. And um, so if you need any help with this, uh, go into Big Bear Community and you can ask for help in there or you can comment down below on the videos and also subscribe, comment, like on the videos and support the channel. So stay tuned for more.